Hello, this is Dan Armstrong. I'm an Adobe Education Leader, and today we're going to take a look at Illustrator CS6 and some of its new features. The first thing I should say about Illustrator CS6 is it got some significant work done um, on the code backside that we don't see in Illustrator to make things run much more efficiently and smoothly for your design process. And that's one of the major upgrades that we received in uh, Illustrator CS6. And so with that, though, we're going to look at three features today in Illustrator. We're going to take a look at the pattern creation tool, and we're going to look at the gradient stroke that we can now add. And then finally, we're going to wrap it up with image tracing and some of the new features uh, that are available, too. So first things first, I'm going to go in here to object and choose pattern, and I'm going to choose uh, make, and I'm going to get this little pop-up box just telling me that I'm going to go make a pattern. So in the past, this has been a little bit difficult. We're going to see if we can't make that a little easier here with our pattern options. So I'm going to start by just making a rectangle. I'm going to hold the shift key so I get a nice square, actually. Uh, and when I do that, you'll notice these other rectangles or squares popping up. This is showing me what the pattern might look like in live mode as I edit it. So I'm going to switch now to my rotate tool with R, and I'm going to just hold shift while I spin this and kind of turn it into this diamond shape here. Now I'm going to make some copies. I'm going to grab my move tool and hold down the option key. And I'm just going to drag this over a little bit to make some copies. So. Now it's showing me how this pattern will line up. In this case, I'm not worried about it looking like a perfect geometric pattern, so much as I am a nice repeating pattern uh, that would work well uh, in my project. So I'm going to hold Option again. Uh, go select this rectangle and hold Option. And I'm going to drag it down and line it up. And I'll go grab this other one and hold Option and drag it down. So here, very quickly, I can kind of take a look at what this pattern uh, might look like. So if I wanted to adjust it one way or another, I could do that. Um, I'm not really unhappy with my results here. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit Save Copy. Uh, let's give this a name first. So we'll call this Diamond. And then we'll hit Save Copy. And I'll add that over here in my Swatches panel. So I can now adjust some other things if I need to in my pattern options. Let's go take a look, though, how well this did. Um, I'm going to say done. So now we're back out here on our blank canvas. I'll zoom out a little bit. So what the project I'm working on with my students, we're going to make actually a 3D playing card in Photoshop. So that's a front side and a back side. So in Illustrator, we're going to uh, start here with the back side of the playing card. So I'm going to draw out a rounded rectangle and go into my transform tool here. And I'm just going to tell it I would like this to be two inches uh, in the width. And oops, we'll go back here and do our height as well. We want that to be about 3.5 inches. Uh, and that would be pretty close to what a normal sized uh, playing card might look like. So we'll zoom in a little bit. And then we can just go to our fill here and go grab that pattern we created, and it'll drop it in here. Uh, my pattern's not you know, perfectly lined up. I could have done some things to kind of make it exactly right, sizing my squares exactly. But that is now my pattern creation tool has made that pattern for me. Let me drop it in there on my playing card. So really useful tool has made pattern creation extremely easy. Tons of options so you can customize it to your heart's content. Um, so now we're going to take a look at uh, our new gradient stroke options in Illustrator. So I'm just going to move to a different part of this canvas for a minute. And what I'm going to do is just brush out kind of a little stroke here. And I'm going to select that and make it just a regular stroke for a minute. And I'm going to make this a little thicker so you can see this line OK. And now over here in my appearance panel, I'm going to go to Stroke, and I'm going to add an arrowhead on the end of this to kind of make it look kind of cool, like a little fun arrow here. 
Um, and then in our stroke options right here, we can just change this stroke. If I go grab this gradient right here, we'll see this is a stroke, and now we've added uh, this nice gradient to it. We could come into the gradient panel, and if we wanted to modify this, we could say, well, we want the end of it to be green, and maybe somewhere here in the middle, we want to add a stopper, and uh, maybe we want to make that a little yellow in there. And then we got kind of this cool green arrow uh, with a nice gradient stroke on it. So very neat feature that has been added now for us in Illustrator CS6. We can create some design and artwork really quickly with just our brush tool, kind of bring it through. So really excited about the gradient stroke in Illustrator CS6. So one more image we're going to take a look at. This is a hat I just grabbed somewhere off the web uh, hanging out. And what we'd like to do is let's say we're going to make a logo uh, out of this hat really quickly. Uh, we had live trace and some of those kind of options in previous Illustrator and we've refined and got some new things. Up here you'll notice I have this bitmap selected um, and up here I have this image trace option. If I hit this down arrow I have some different options of how I can do the image trace. I'm just going to choose this black and white logo because uh, really all I want it to do is to isolate the hat so I can do some things with it. So when I hit that, I'll just convert that into this nice black and white logo. We have some issues up here on the top, uh, some little bumps down here on the ribbon. So real quickly, I'm just going to go fix those things. So we're going to hit expand. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. And move this over so we center it up. I'm going to grab my smooth tool and I'm just going to drag it right over this rough part a couple times and uh, see if we can't get some of those bumps out of there. So we could just kind of smooth this over a little bit, modify the anchor points, whatever it is you wanted to do specifically um, with this. So there we go. And then once we're happy, we could kind of move over here to this other side, sort of smooth out that bump a little bit. And just drag it around. Okay, and then there's one other spot up here on the top of this hat. We need to get in there pretty close uh, to go get that guy. So we can just come in again with our smooth tool and brush right over the top of that and we'll fix it right up uh, once it's selected. So we can move this anchor point as well, kind of bring it into line with our direct selection tool. and uh, that would be in good shape. So there we go. And now we're looking pretty good. So really here in about a few seconds, I've used some of these tracing options to give me this nice kind of hat silhouette that we could now do uh, whatever we wanted to do with as far as uh, logo creation or content creation, whatever you're doing with it, uh, those are some of your options. So again, this was up here in our image tracing options. Uh, we also looked at the gradient stroke in Illustrator and also the pattern creation tool. Again, my name is Dan Armstrong. You've taken a look at some of the new features in Illustrator CS6. And you can get a hold of me through the Adobe Education Exchange if you need anything from me. And I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.